Employers of Reddit. What is the weirdest excuse an employee gave you for not showing up to work? That turned out to be true. Weirdest one. Girl calls me from an unknown number. Like very different digits than what I'm used to seeing but it's my work phone so I figure it's legit. Hey boss. I won't be able to make it into work tomorrow. Possibly the next few days. How come? Volcano erupted nearby and my flight has been grounded. What? Seriously? Yup. Turn on the news. Well okay then. Call me when you get back. Saddest one was when a guy called in and said he couldn't make it in because his wife just lost their twins like two weeks before the due date. I remember him saying it pretty casually and that he'd call in later about tomorrow's shift. I was just stunned. I couldn't believe it. I told him to go spend some time with his wife and was taking him off the schedule for two weeks. He broke down after that and just started crying uncontrollably. I gave him the number to one of those counseling services that's offered through our company but man. I can still remember how absolutely broken he was. He was never the same when he came back too. Still a great employee, but definitely a much more solemn person after that. Oh, that volcano. Whole management was stuck in Asia for a few days because all the flights to Europe were cancelled. They even thought about taking a train, but they were not the first with that idea, so they had to wait for the flights to commence. I once came too late to my first day of work at my new employer because my train took a wrong turn and ended up in a totally different city. Try explaining that. Worked at a summer camp as a manager. Had to call because one of our employees didn't show up. Former marine. Good guy. Gave him a call on the home home. No answer. Called his cell phone. Him. Hey. Sorry. I'm in the middle of a shootout. Handgun rounds and glass shattering. Me. I. Okay. Call you later. Him. Okay AR firing see you later. Director asked if he was going to come in today or tomorrow and I said. I didn't ask. Wasn't going to distract him. He was okay. Turns out some people across the street started shooting each other. Some stray shots went through the window and wall while his family was eating breakfast so he simply returned fire. Hi. Some stray shots went through the window and wall while his family was eating breakfast so he simply returned fire. Double quote. As you do. Once I was late because of traffic. So I texted my boss in a standstill on the highway. I'm jammed up on highway and will probably be a half hour late he texted back yes i see you i'm in the green ford focus a few cars back of you traffic new employee got hit by a car first day of work never showed up that day but he called in the next day he settled with the driver that hit him and bought a bmw or something with the money makes me wonder if there is a chain reaction of people being hit by cars suing and buying new cars to hit other people and buy them new cars going on out there i gave a weird excuse my boss didn't believe my grandmother had als and was in her final days i asked for a few days off she was hanging on longer than anyone thought she would day i was said to go back my grandfather had a heart attack and died instantly my boss just kept saying I thought your grandma was sick two days later. My grandmother did pass. My father's father died in October. Then my mother's mother died five days later. Several states away. My little brother lost his job when he called his boss to say grandma also died. Butthole was convinced he was lying and just had found a way to game the system for days off. Got this text the other day. Hey, my brother's cat died. I have to go to the funeral. Apparently his brother was autistic wouldn't let them take the cat unless they agreed to a funeral for it. So instead of letting him clutch a deceased pet they agreed to demands. I almost didn't believe him till he showed me a picture of him in a suit with his family and a shoebox. I didn't give him any problems because the dude is a good brother. And you are a good boss. Tellish years ago, I had a young adult friend who got an internship where I was working. Came in in the morning, started complaining about feeling like he had been kicked in the balls. We had a two day staff retreat up in the mountains, and he didn't show up to the carpool situation to head out later that day. About halfway to the retreat, we heard that he was feeling sick. We all kinda rolled our eyes and annoyedly joked around about how he was a young dude who just didn't want to go on the retreat and was bailing. No phone reception at the retreat. We get home from the retreat and receive several messages from his parents. 
Poor guy had been diagnosed with testicular cancer over the weekend and had been taken in for emergency surgery to remove the testicle and several lymph nodes and would be starting chemo shortly after recovery from surgery. Dude made it through treatment and is doing fine to this day. I'm an employer, but this wasn't my employee, it was a co-worker at the time. Co-worker called in around 9.30, work started at 8.30, saying they'd been in a motorcycle accident, had fractured their foot, and were heading home from the hospital, were planning to come in in the afternoon. Fair enough. Called in about an two and a half hours later saying they'd been t-boned on the way out of their neighborhood, and wouldn't be in for the rest of the day. It was all true. Worst day ever. I just don't feel good you know, I can't explain it but I just feel weird. Poor sucker was in the middle of complete organ failure, had him stay home and told him to get to a doctor, never made it and died in his sleep at home. I wonder if he was having that chemical released in his brain whose only symptom is a sense of impending doom. I'm a recruiter, and not too long ago I called a candidate that had applied for a position I had listed. He never called me back. I called the next day and his wife answered. She said when I called yesterday she went to tell him his phone was ringing and found him dead. My dad got hit by a bus. I have to go identify his body for the police. Yeah, I ended up giving him a ride to the hospital because he didn't have a vehicle and I could not reconcile making him ride a city bus when his dad was just killed by another city bus. You're a good boss manager. She was stuck in traffic and about 15 minutes late because an elephant was being moved across the parking lot. My son was late to work once because of a whale. It got itself lost and stuck in the harbor. Two men are people blocking traffic on the bridge, trying to get a look at it that he couldn't get through. One morning I went to open the door to my apartment and the knob came off in my hand. The shaft came with it, so the outside knob fell off as well. After 30 minutes of jabbing at it with a screwdriver, I called a locksmith, and then my boss to explain to him that I would be late because I was locked in my apartment. His 13 year old daughter died in her sleep. To this day I can still hear his sobbing as if it had happened yesterday. I never got full details but it was some complication due to her asthma. Frick, imagine your kid dying and then having to call and explain to your work why you won't be there. This happened to me. I had to call in late because the door fell off my apartment. I went to leave for work, closed it behind me, and heard a loud crash. The hinges had come unscrewed and fallen off. Since I couldn't leave my apartment without a door and I didn't have an electric drill, I had to wait for maintenance to come out it back on. My boss thought I was lying until I took a picture of the door lying on the floor and sent it to him. Oh man this reminds me of when I got locked in my apartment. I lived in a questionable area and my windows didn't actually open. The only door was my front door and my deadbolt had been sticking. I told maintenance they said that it was weather. The next day I couldn't open the door. I had to have maintenance come break me out and make me a new key. Well, one time I had to call in cause my house was burning down. I'm a 911 operator and this is kind of the call I expect to get at some time so you need to get out of the house. May it's a corded phone though. And I kinda need to call my boss first. I've had iterations of this call before. There's a dead body in my house. Turned out her roommate's brother was misdiagnosed with asthma when he had pneumonia. She tried to come in after to work. I sent her to go get a beer and her nails done. Your nails look like crap. Take the day off. I taught an exercise class for the Y. I had to tell the cops to call my boss as they took me in for felony kidnapping my own kid. Custody dispute completely mishandled by the cops. No charges after I spent the night in jail. My boss actually took the time to call my friend from the gym who was a lawyer. So that was pretty cool. She also let me dress as an escaped prisoner that Halloween. As a joke. My 101 grandfather dressed up as the Grim Reaper complete with real scythe at his assisted living complex. Management took the scythe off him. He went round knocking on people's doors. I'm stuck on an island. She was too. There was a storm and the boat was cancelled. What are you gonna do? A guy called us and said there is a bomb in my yard and the cops won't let me leave everyone was like oh yeah sure thing Paul. It'll be goddamned if they didn't have to call the bomb squad to his house. It was all over the news. Sorry Paul. 
my dad once left work because my mom had started bleeding heavily with no lady products to take care of it and she had two small children at home. He told his boss my wife's basement is flooding his boss. Also his uncle said you live on a slab. Ooh yeah bye. One morning when I checked and I saw an employee smoking his cigarette in front of his car. He was early so had time to do so. Well a police car starts to pass in front of him really really slow while looking at him like he was a god dang psychopath. The dude thought it was a good idea to wave them hello. Cops stopped their car and jumped out to control him. They checked the exterior of his car, his paper and such for about 30 minutes and told him they had to wait for the national police to check the interior of the car. So they call in. National police answer them that they'll be here in about an hour. So here they are. The three musketeers, the dude and the two cops, standing here in the middle of a parking lot, not talking, not doing anything for an hour except staring at each other. National police come in, check the car, nothing to see and oh oh nothing to be alarmed of course. So they ask the city cops what the heck is that about, which they answer he waved us hello. Easy to tell that national police wasn't glad to come down for such BS. Employee is finally released after 2 hours and a half of nonsense. Employee didn't have to explain crap as manager saw everything. He was noted late with that cause. Waving hello to police officers. Now everyone of our place who see those cops wave them hello. Not sure if this counts but an old employee who used to run his own company used to be a real hard ass you better be dying if you call and type. He had an employee call in and tell him boss I met a woman and I'm going to be spending the day in bed. He let him stay home. Employee here. Boss called me asking if I could come in early. Told her that I went partially blind because apparently my eyes are sensitive to bleach but that I was still planning on coming in later. She gave me the day off because, as she put it, as a lifeguard, you need to be able to see the kids in order to save them. A girl I work with once called in late because a deer stole her wig. Literally no one believed her until she showed up about half an hour late with a bandana on her head and a grainy picture of a deer standing with her afro in its mouth. She rides her bike to work through a patch of wooded area and apparently stopped because something got stuck in her wheel and was laying on the ground for so long not moving. Trying to fix the wheel, a deer came over and chomped her wig and ran off with it. I was in awe. Not the employer, but once I had to ring in work because I had fallen cleaning my ear with one of those ear cotton buds. Bad for you I know, but they just feel so dang good, and I had to go straight to the emergency doctors. Luckily no lasting damage but I had awful hearing and dizziness for weeks. I had just hired a new prep cook, about a week in, I was driving into work and I passed a truck pulled over on the highway, and a guy running back to it carrying something in his hands. He looked vaguely familiar. Anyways I get to work, go through the motions. 20 minutes past the time he was supposed to arrive, I called him up to see what was going on. He said, sorry, I had to up, stop and take care of something important. The way he hesitated made me suspicious. I asked if he drove a red Ford. Yay. I respond with did I see you picking up roadkill this morning turns out. He saw a dead raccoon, picked it up, drove it back home. Fast forward to a week later and he's got a raccoon skin mounted on his truck dash. I don't know if that's cool or creepy. I was the employee that was late. A truck that was transporting bees got in an accident on the freeway, overturned, and released most or all of the bees from it. They were trying to contain some of them but I believe they lost most of them. This was about a half hour north of Seattle. A lot of people were late that day. I remember this. I was in that backup. Hello fellow traffic buddy. I technically was already at work and left early for this. I went to my supervisor's office, where I work. Each department is broken into two, wrapping and makeup. I work at a snack production plan. Makeup makes said snack. Wrapping wraps it and sends it on its way on the trucks. So, in the office is my boss, and the makeup boss, super chill guy. It went like this. I need to leave, me, why rapping? I have a situation that I need to take care of, immediately, now, me, did you crap yourself makeup, way too excited about it, I might add, my hemorrhoids have ruptured, I have about 5 minutes before the blood soaks into my pants, I need to go, me, get the frick home, both bosses, I didn't try to keep it secret, as I don't care, but it was kinda funny for a few days being the guy whose butthole exploded. 
upvote for exploding butthole. Employee. Hi boss. I am afraid I am going to be hard pressed to get to work today. Why is that? My house is literally frozen shut. The front door won't open. The windows are all frozen shut. The back door is stuck. The garage won't open. Can you not pour some warm water on them? I would. But the power is out and the central heating has packed in. I don't have a gas hob either. I see. Well. Enjoy your day freezing in your house reading books and shivering to keep warm. Touche. He broke his arm trying to start his truck. His normal car wouldn't start so he decided to drive his Model AA Ford to work instead of dicking around with the car. Well. The electric starter on the truck wasn't working so he decided to hand crank it. I guess it being early and him being rushed and frustrated made him less than careful with the whole procedure. The crank snapped back and broke his arm. I had an employee who had an ingrown hair. Turns out he was rushed to hospital. Had a very badly infected abscess and the infection had spread to his blood. I now feel sorry for laughing when he told me his excuse for not coming in. I really thought he was joking with me. Had a soda bottle lodged in his anus. That's when you just give them a vague I'm in the air. My sister had to call out of work once due to our neighborhood being locked down by the SWAT team. She tried to leave for work and a dude in full SWAT gear popped out from behind our garbage bins and told her to get back inside. They were all over our neighborhood. Hiding out. Our neighbor had barricaded himself in his house and at the time, it was believed he had his two small children and was going to kill them and himself. Later we learned his wife had the kids, so they were not in any danger, but the man did end up killing himself. Very sad for our small community. I have to get my hedgehog blessed. You've been visited by the banana guardian. He will protect you and all of your bananas, but only if you comment protect us mighty doggo if you are new to the channel, you can subscribe, I publish new videos every day, until then, check another video, or don't, either way, have a great day you magnificent people.